This is your boy, Lord Thaddeus Cray. What's this one going to be about? It's going to be about one that I've been wanting to do, but I keep forgetting due to my lovely attention span or lack thereof. It's about the Beast of Givodan, or however it's pronounced. I know I butchered the name. Now, what exactly is this creature? Well, I'm not going to say it's a cryptid or some type of supernatural monster right off the gate. I do know certain facts. Supposedly, 350 people were killed by this thing. And, of course, only God knows how many cattle, sheep, and other animals were also slain by this monster. That's what I do know. The fact is, bear with me real quick, is that this thing was responsible for only God knows how much loss of life, or much loss of life. Bear with me here. There were many, many people that were killed by this creature. Now, could it be an exaggeration of how many were actually killed? I wouldn't be surprised. There are so many theories on what this thing could be. Let's go ahead and run them down. One, people said it might have been a hyena. Supposedly this thing was actually mounted and stuffed. And that, I have my doubts. Number one, it's possible someone could have brought some animal like that over from Africa, like in the uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf or something like that. But I have my doubts because I'm not saying it couldn't survive. It definitely could have, especially if it was a small clan of them. But that's what it would have been required to actually be a, like a, that kind of danger. Make no mistake, hyenas are far from bulletproof. They are smart, and they have a very dangerous bite force, which can pretty much <laughs> cause all kinds of problems. But you also have to understand something. They're group predators. Very smart and very dangerous, as I said. But something like that hiding out in, uh, the, you know, like the forest of France, it's possible. I'm just saying it's not likely, especially to do the much as much damage as was done. Now, could a pack of wolves have done this? Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Because wolves, of course, are native to that area. They definitely were at the time. I think it was a colonial period with the 1700s. I didn't know that. So it's definitely possible some wolves were responsible. But like I said, supposedly I think one was found and stuffed. But here's the thing. This creature was described as wolf-like, but not. And supposedly bullets didn't harm this thing. That right there uh, kind of makes me suspicious in more ways than one. Now, could it have been maybe some type of dog or mastiff or something that maybe someone put a, you know, like maybe an armor of hide over it? You know, like maybe out of a pig or something? Yeah, of course, it could be. But the thing is, again, there were so many different varying stories about this creature. Also, you have to take into account, uh, like I said, people were superstitious back then, but they weren't dumb. They would know if it was some type of dog or something like that that had armor on it. Now, if you're terrified and in fear for your life, that might be another story. <clears throat> you know, people don't exactly, they're not known for thinking when they're in fight or flight mode. They want to either fight or flight. Common sense there. And as I said, there's, I do believe this. there was an account of what happened. It's, it's written in history. And again, as I say many times, there's always a fact behind fiction. Don't ever forget that. So, I believe very firmly that this creature... I'm pretty sure it may have been some type of natural occurrence. I could be wrong on that. That is kind of my suspicion. But I'm not going to leave out paranormal stuff either. you got to understand something. Many people did say it was a werewolf-type monster. And, of course, that's where we go into the stuff that I really talk about. What could it be in that respect? Could it have been a dogman? Very possible. Uh, Linda Gottfried's books, uh, many, you know, she was the one that kind of really is the go-to person on the dogman. Don't forget that. And anyway, my point is this. A lot of the stuff she wrote down and put reports on were actually just of upright wolves. Not anything as freakish and horrifying as some of the later accounts of the dogman. That's one thing you have to understand. So it might have been a dogman. I'm just saying, most of the descriptions of this creature were not, they were scary, but they were not monstrous. Except a couple of accounts. Supposedly this thing had a horrific stench. Had razor sharp teeth and claws, obviously. It could jump. To dizzying heights, it could it stank real bad, as I said. It also had a club that it would supposedly use as a tail. I think that is a lot of embellishment. <laughs> but yes, it could have been a dogman. Or maybe a werewolf, possibly. But at the same time, supposedly this thing was not... It did not shapeshift. Supposedly. Now, it could have been a werewolf. But I'm just saying, I kind of... Me personally, I'm not, I'm not going to say it wasn't. But to me, I would think... Uh, from the you know from what I do and also the people I've talked to and the descriptions I've been given 
from different people and just different things I've seen. I'm thinking if there's any kind of cryptid, I would ray, I would kind of lean towards the dog mound. But that's just me. Kind of like the piece of Bray Road, that kind of thing. So what may what would actually make this thing just have killed so many people? I don't know. But predators are creatures of opportunity. They're not stupid. That's why they're predators. So you have to think about that. It could easily have been some kind of animal or cryptid, like the dogman, that maybe had no choice. But also at the same time, dogmen are very opportunistic creatures from what I've seen. And I believe very firmly they'll take whatever they can get their mitts on. It's just how it works. I'll leave it at that. Also, you need to understand one thing. Why was this thing not able to be stopped by bullets? That's one thing I'm trying to figure out. Supposedly, you know, again, you know, there are so many reports of dogman not, you know, being like this. It's ridiculous. Now, again, a lot of that's embellished, but not all of it. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, again, that's what I firmly believe it is. Not really of the werewolf variety, but it could have been. But also, it could have been something else. Like maybe, bear with me here. Try to check. Here. Okay. There we go. Anyway, it could also have been a creature that it was, I would think it's possible that it could have been something that might have been, like, like I was saying before at the beginning of this video, imported over from uh, some foreign country. And I mean, think about it, if a lion or a tiger was, now that is something that could do this kind of damage easily. You have attacks on people in India all the time uh, with man-eating tigers, and they cause only God knows how much carnage. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But at the same time, the descriptions are not like that. They're of a canine creature. And you know, like I said, people were, even back then, they were not, they weren't dumb. They were very observant, probably more so than now. I'm just going to leave it at that. But as I said, I do firmly believe that this creature was something beyond the norm. Make no mistake. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. There are so many things this beast could have been. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at the fact that most likely this creature was something that did not belong in the environment, which most animals would have during that period of time. However, again, it's very possible it could have been encrypted of some sort. I personally am leaning towards the dog man, if it was. But these are only my theories and opinions. If there's anything else you think it might have been, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear it. You guys be blessed and you be safe.